History of British Rule in India To fully understand the history of British rule in India, we will take you through the period from the year 1600 to 1947. We will discuss the East India Company, significant conflicts, the British Raj, the Indian National Congress, and finally the independence of India. India served as a significant source and provider of commodities such as cotton, indigo, opium, tea, spices, gold, silver, saltpeter, and much more. Over time, the Dutch, English, French, Danish, and others forged economic connections with the Indian subcontinent, initiating trade enterprises. While all these nations held expansionist aspirations in India, the British ultimately achieved a notable triumph in extending their influence across the entire subcontinent. The East India Company East India Company was a trading company from Britain that played a big role in India's history. It started in the early 1600s when it got permission from Indian rulers to trade things like spices, tea and cotton. Over time, the company gained more power. In the mid-1700s, it got involved in battles and conflicts in India. Battle of Plassey, 1757 A pivotal moment was the Battle of Plassey in 1757, where the East India Company's forces, under the leadership of Robert Clive, defeated the Nawab of Bengal. This victory marked a significant step towards the company's establishment of power in India. The Battle of Plassey was not a large-scale military clash, but its significance lies in its long-term impact on British involvement in India and the establishment of their authority over various regions. Expansion of East India Company After winning the Battle of Plassey, the company's control expanded. It took over more areas and started to rule like a government in some places. By the 1770s, the company's control over Bengal became stronger when Warren Hastings, the first Governor-General of India, moved important offices to Calcutta and watched over them during this time. The British Parliament started making rules to control the company's actions. This made the company more like an extension of the British government. Over the next decades, the company fought in wars, made agreements and took over more land. By the 1800s, it had control over a lot of India. The Sepoy Mutiny of 1857 The Sepoy Mutiny of 1857, a pivotal chapter in India's quest for independence, was a widespread uprising against British colonial rule, triggered by a combination of factors including cultural insensitivity, religious tensions, and economic disparities. The rebellion saw Indian sepoys in British service rise against their foreign oppressors. The introduction of the controversial Enfield rifle cartridges, rumored to be greased with animal fat offensive to Hindu and Muslims, served as the tipping point. The rebellion spread across North and Central India, involving diverse communities and leaders like Rini Lakshmi Bai and Bahadur Shah II. The effect of the Sepoy Mutiny and the end of East India Company Though the mutiny was eventually suppressed by the British with brutal reprisals, its legacy endured. The event led to the direct rule of India by the British Crown, a shift from the East India Company's control, and ignited the spirit of Indian nationalism, laying the foundation for a future struggle towards freedom. The Rise of the British Raj the immediate result of the mutiny was a general house cleaning of the Indian administration. In 1858, the last Mughal emperor of India, Bahadur Shah II, was deposed because of his support for the Indian mutiny and exiled to Burma. The British government now imposed direct rule on India, appointing a governor general or viceroy to act as the crown's British colonial rule in India, 1858 to 1947. The period from 1858 to 1947 marked a significant chapter in India's history, characterized by British colonial rule under the British Crown, commonly known as the British Raj. Following the Indian Rebellion of 1857, the British government assumed direct control of India, marking the end of the British East India Company's governance. This era witnessed profound changes that shaped India's socio-economic, political and cultural landscape. Administrative Reforms and Modernization Under the British Raj, India underwent extensive administrative reforms. The British established a structured bureaucracy, introduced modern legal systems, and implemented policies aimed at streamlining governance. The construction of railways, telegraphs, and postal services facilitated communication and trade across the subcontinent. But these developments often served imperial interests more than local needs economic exploitation and disparities. The British Raj brought economic exploitation as India's resources were channeled to support Britain's industrial growth. 
cash crops replaced food crops, leading to famines and agrarian distress. Heavy taxation, coupled with unequal economic policies, deepened economic disparities and negatively impacted the Indian population. Cultural and social changes. Culturally, British rule left a profound impact. Education was reformed, leading to the establishment of universities and schools, but often with a Western bias. English language education became a symbol of social prestige, leading to a cultural divide between those who embraced Western education and those who adhered to traditional systems. Nationalism and independence movements The British Raj saw the emergence of a vibrant nationalist movement. Organizations like the Indian National Congress became platforms for political dialogue and demands for self-governance. Leaders like Gandhi advocated non-violent civil disobedience and passive resistance, leading to movements such as the Salt March and Quit India Movement. World War II and its impact World War II proved a turning point. The war severely strained the British economy and Indians were called upon to support the war effort. This, coupled with growing nationalist sentiment, hastened the demand for complete independence. Independence and legacy The struggle for independence culminated in August 1947 when India gained freedom from British rule. The legacy of British colonialism left both positive and negative imprints. While it introduced modern institutions and infrastructure, it also imposed economic exploitation and cultural changes that shaped India's identity. The scars of partition and communal tensions left their mark on the subcontinent. The partition of India in 1947 was a very important event. It split British India into two countries, India and Pakistan. They did this because of religion, with Pakistan for Muslims and India for Hindus. But this decision caused a lot of problems. There was a lot of fighting, many people had to leave their homes, and many people lost their lives. This was the biggest movement of people ever. Even though the partition gave India and Pakistan their own countries, it also created big problems, like fights between different groups and many people having to leave their homes. In retrospect, the British rule from 1858 to 1947 was a complex period defined by economic exploitation, cultural shifts, political awakening, and the relentless pursuit of self-determination. It serves as a reminder of the enduring struggle for freedom and the resilience of a nation determined to shape its destiny.